E-learning will continue into the next academic year if the COVID-19 crisis goes on, a senior official has said. The Dubai Health Authority sync with the National Emergency Crisis and Disaster Management Authority has issued a comprehensive circular. As per the circular, asymptomatic or those with mild symptoms can self-isolate at home. Mild symptoms include cough, sore throat, muscle ache, myelagia, fatigue or headache. Abu Dhabi police in collaboration with the Department of Health Abu Dhabi have launched a mobile coronavirus screening center as part of efforts to support preventive precautionary measures being taken by the UAE to contain the global pandemic and ensure the safety and well-being of the community. All transactions and services via the General Directorate of Residency on Foreigners Affairs in Dubai can now be done online through smart channels and offices set on Saturday. A fire broke out at the contracting company building in Dubai's Um Ramol area near Dubai Airport on Saturday, but there were no injuries reported, said an official from Dubai Civil Defense. With easing the restriction of movement in the UAE, commercial entitles have increased precautionary measures at the facilities to contain the spread of COVID-19. Hypermarkets, pharmacies and clinics have installed antimicrobial protective shields at cash counters. In a green list of studies on vitamin D and its link with COVID-19 disease, British researchers have found an association between low average levels of vitamin D and high numbers of COVID-19 cases and mortality rates across 20 European countries. UAE announces 624 new coronavirus cases along with 458 new recoveries and 11 new deaths. Bahrain announces 151 new coronavirus cases along with 21 new recoveries and no new deaths reported. Kuwaitis and foreign residents will be allowed to all walking daily under total health curfew that is due to start in the country on Sunday, media reported Saturday. Kuwait reported 450 new coronavirus cases along with 156 recoveries and two more deaths. Oman announces 112 new coronavirus cases along with one new death and a total of 1,068 recoveries. Qatar's Ministry of Public Health has announced 1,130 new coronavirus cases while one patient died and 129 others recovered in the last 24 hours. Saudi Arabia announced on Saturday it released precautionary measures previously announced on March 27th the districts of Al-Surabat, Bani Zafar, Urban, al Jumu'ah, part of Al-Iskan and Bani Khadra in Medina as of Saturday, the Saudi press agency reported. Saudi Arabia announces 1,704 new coronavirus cases along with 1,024 new recoveries and 10 new deaths. The death toll due to COVID-19 rose to 1,981 and the number of cases climbed to 59,662 in India on Saturday, registering an increase of 95 deaths and 3,320 cases in the last 24 hours, according to the Union Health Ministry. Two Air India evacuation flights landed in Hyderabad and Lucknow on Saturday, bringing back citizens from Kuwait and UAE Saja respectively. About 163 Indians from Kuwait and 180 from Sarja returned today as part of the government Van Debaat mission, launched to bring back Indians struck abroad due to coronavirus-induced lockdown. Another set of 177 stranded nationals were brought back to Tamil Nadu's Trichy from Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. Days after Israel announced a breakthrough regarding COVID-19 vaccine, the Indian Council of Medical Research on Saturday announced a tie-up with Bath Biotech International Limited to develop a fully indigenous vaccine using the virus strain isolated at the National Institute of Virology, Pune. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.